Okay, so I've done something dumb. And I keep doing this dumb thing, and this time, because I've done this dumb thing, I'm going to make a video about how to undo the dumb thing, and hopefully this will remind me never to do the dumb thing again. Um, basically, for my induction heater, I have discovered that uh, using a simple rectifier was not giving me enough voltage to push what I was hoping to uh, power-wise through it. So I got some other new capacitors that I've never used before, and uh, re jigged my bridge rectifier into a voltage doubler and you can see the capacitors are ensconced in there that was because I've never taken them up to their full voltage before and so I always do this with second hand ones just to make sure they're not going to blow up in my face um, now well, the dumb thing that I did or didn't do rather was put bleed resistors on them so even though I charged them up to I think they were about 770 volts last night I expected them to discharge pretty much overnight but you can see they've still got about 270 volts in them now which is enough given the size of them and, uh, there they are there they're 820 microfarads each so they're connected uh, basically together in series and then the two parallels are actually sides to the doubler so they are actually connected together via these wires that go and join into the where one side of the AC comes in uh, but anyway yes so I should have put bleed resistors on them and I didn't so at this point I've disconnected them from everything which means that essentially they're floating and uh, what that means is that although I don't want to touch any of them at the moment because I don't know what their potential is between me and their voltage if I ground them at a particular point then that makes that point safe for me to touch so what I have is a couple of pieces that uh, I've come in useful before and this one is basically an old jug cord and what I've done is I've just taken the two active wires and insulated them away there and they're actually sealed in uh, I think I used acrylic and then this PVC is basically just holding them in place it's not actually doing any insulating at all and the other wire that I've left out is the earth so this is basically when I plug it in that is a nice earth point and the other thing I have is the old favorite chicken stick which is just a alligator clip there a bit of insulation and I'm way over here and then a point which I can use to touch down here so we'll set up and I'll get it going Okay, so just to reiterate, this is really dumb. I should not have done this. What I'm about to do is actually quite dangerous. You probably shouldn't do it unless uh, you're really impatient and understand the risks. It's uh, down here, yeah, 257 volts. That would still be a very nasty kick, which I do not want to experience. So, step one, I've got my chicken stick connected to the ground connection. And if we touch that to there, that now becomes ground point. So I should be able to sneak in here, but it's still connected. Make sure you stay connected. Put on one side of my bleed resistor, and there we go. I'll just untangle this a bit. And same for the other side. Touch that to there, and I just retrieve my voltmeter clip and pop on the other side of the resistor. And now my voltage will bleed away. And yep, I put the voltmeter clip back on because. Uh, I do really want to know what's in there and you can see that that's already dropping down 120 very quickly bleeding away and I'm still alive <laughs> 